Good Tuesday morning, everyone. How's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video. And to kind of whet your appetite a little bit more, I wanted to do a sync up demonstration between two or more Genetry Solar inverters. Now, we have some software tweaking that we have to do. Sid and I did a bunch of tests last night, and we need to perfect this. Now, there is an issue with syncing between the master and the slave when there is an actual load. Sid is working on that. That is all software. I don't want anybody to freak out and think that it doesn't work. It's quite literally software. So the deal is, is that when Sid has been testing these on his own inverters, he's been doing so in non-split phase mode. So apparently the inverters running in split phase, they tend to... Um, be a little bit more sensitive that is the 240 volt mode which most people are going to run including me uh, i am going to have a couple of these running in my own house because our 12 kilowatt is currently down for redesign uh more about that later but anyway so <clears throat> the uh, 12 or excuse me the pair of six kilowatts actually i have three six kilowatts i want to run in daisy for my house um, this is obviously important because I am what's considered to be a typical scenario. Um, that is, most people are going to be running their inverters in 240 split mode. And Sid, well, he's a very special person, so he was not running it in 240 split mode. And it works perfectly without any problems under load in non-split phase 240 mode, so 120 basically. Um, so we have some software tweaking that we have to do. It has nothing to do with hardware. It's not a fault of the design. It is quite literally software. But I can at least demonstrate for you right now. And trust me, Sid is hard at work at this. He's working a full-time job too. So um, today he is going to be cracking at the code to hopefully get this um, all buttoned up and then get these inverters out to you. Believe me, it's as important to me as it is you because right now I have no inverter running my house. I've got fully charged batteries and... I can't do anything with it, and a single 6,000 watt unit is not enough to run my house. So I will be dazing a couple of these together for my own personal needs. And so the pressure is on Sid for sure. But <laughs> I can at least show you what it looks like when they're syncing up. And the problem only happens when there's a major load on the inverter. And it's just the two inverters talking to each other and Sid just has to refine it a little bit more. That's all it is. Again, this is not a hardware fault. This is not always oh, screwed up, back to the drawing board, nothing like that. It is literally a software thing that Sid will be able to fix because he fixes all problems. So it's not like anybody's gonna need to buy new boards or anything else like that. It's just a tweak in the software. Let's get to it. So this is the slave inverter. Again, these are blind wolf inverters okay if you see them on the forum say hi uh, i don't know why i've been calling you blind gray wolf for some reason i had that in my head the whole time maybe you're gray i don't know um, but at any rate these are his inverters here one of them is sealed the other one i had to open up to make some adjustments for testing purposes this is the slave inverter this is the master inverter i have my scope set up to monitor both inverters so you'll be able to see both of them and so right now let's turn on the slave inverter so basically what it's doing right now is it's in standby mode it's in parallel mode this is a mode that you set if you're running multiple inverters and you're running them in daisy mode not three phase mode this is actually daisy mode so right now it's in standby so you got absolutely no output at the front as indicated by the oscilloscope it's basically sitting here waiting to sync up with multiple inverters, one or more, right? This is our master inverter. Let's go ahead and turn this on. You can see the sine wave formed with that. Very shortly here, this one will sync up, and there it goes. Now, again, this is software. You can see it kind of got a little bit, a little bit messy here. Sid is going to have to tweak that. It works perfectly on 120. And uh, so this is all software right here, okay? The, the great magic of our control boards is that this can all be tweaked in software. So yes, there's a few bumps here and there, but the point is, this whole thing, you can see the inverter is now running. You can see it's running both ways. It's actually syncing 
to the master inverter and it's consuming 40 watts in the process that's another thing that is needs to be known to those who want to do this is that this actually does take a little bit of power and each inverter you add is going to add more power standby it's essentially seeing this inverter and it's driving this inverter in a way uh, Sid will have to explain it more in technical terms but this inverter is essentially driving this inverter to keep them in sync so as voltage goes up and down then they regulate each other basically um, Sid explained it to me in some brilliant way that of course I forgot so he will have to explain how this exactly works he's the smarts guy I'm just the guy behind the camera so you can see here how the sine waves are now in sync so that's the whole point in running daisy mode and i'll be able to demonstrate this with three phase because i've got a four channel oscilloscope as well as daisy three inverters together i have a few customers who are doing that as well but um so basically the two inverters are perfectly in sync with each other and this is the important thing about this whole thing is that they have to be in sync if they are out of sync then the inverters will fight each other and eventually they'll just shut down because they're quite literally fighting each other. So right now they're working together. Theoretically, if there was a load connected, which we did some testing, that's not safe, by the way. That's 240 volts between two inverters now. Um, this is my load, and we were doing some testing, and the master inverter is just complaining about the slave inverter so Sid is going to be doing some more tweaks and then we will be able to show you guys on camera this thing actually working um, and uh, he's done his own testing I've seen the pictures I've seen the videos and it does work it's just a matter of tweaking it for 240 now right now I got these two probes set on L1 for both of the inverters otherwise you would see the exact um, 180 out of here as well i could probably hook up another two scopes and i just popped one off but so yeah that's not what that's supposed to look like because these ends here on these probes are terrible at holding anything oh and uh by doing so yeah i kind of blipped that a little bit so that was kind of interesting they're running in sync again but um, i bumped the wire so the great safety feature that's a good demonstration of a safety feature actually because I actually bumped that wire that I've got just kind of sticking in there a little bit for this test and it immediately went out of sync and it's so sensitive to being in sync that it immediately backed off. So watch what's going to happen when I actually turn off the master inverter immediately and I do mean immediately within milliseconds the slave inverter then goes to standby mode because it no longer sees the master so it immediately goes to standby that way you're not pushing out power out of this this is a safety feature so yeah me bumping the wire perfect <laughs> perfect safety demonstration um again this is this is a mock-up this is not something that's running my house or anything this is literally testing so don't chew my ear off because these aren't perfectly tightened down and i've just got things just kind of shoved in there um perfect demonstration for safety we're doing our best to keep everybody safe i guess <laughs> so there um <clears throat> there you have it so yeah uh, a good demonstration of the two inverters working together now we just need to get sid everybody go pressure sid go knock on his door and tell him to get to work on this first of all he needs to upgrade to windows from linux which will help immensely i've been telling him for a long time ever since i first met him if he would just do it all in windows it would just work but apparently he's stuck on linux Number two, he needs to sit down and work on it so that we can get these inverters out. The pressure is on Sid right now, so that's the whole thing. <laughs> Poor Sid. Um, but yeah, he, he already has a good idea of how to do this. It's just a matter of testing, me spending the nights here, receiving code, testing, tweaking, receiving code, testing, tweaking, and eventually they're going to go out. So that's the that's the deal right now. So... The Blind Wolf, you, sir, yes, I have your updated number, by the way. Um, you, sir, are going to get these two beautiful inverters just as soon as Sid is able to tweak this code out for you. I am still building Genetry Soul inverters for those who want the three-phase and as well as the daisy chain. That way you guys aren't going to have to wait around for 
much longer after we have tweaked this. That way I can just do a quick test on them and send them out. So we do appreciate your patience. And by the way, our second round of inverters should be here any day. Um, everything is passed through customs and uh, UPS should be delivering them within the week. So yeah, another batch of inverters. So I'll be working hard at those. Getting all this worked out, and yep, it has been a busy couple of weeks. So I do appreciate all of your patience, all of your support, and this is going to be awesome. It already is awesome, but it's going to be even more awesome when Sid is able to tweak out the code and get them to work together without any problems. Thanks again for all of your support, and take care.